I'm Matt Like, and this is Tech Tuesday. I'm a front-end mechanic with 30 Car, and we're gonna be going over wiring looms today. So this is the center chassis wiring loom, and this is the biggest wiring loom on the front end of the car. It provides power to every corner of the car outside of the motor. Um, you have here, the this bundle here is what sits directly below the driver's legs. Uh, his bottom is sitting in this area. These parts run outside the right and the left of the car and go externally to the other wiring harnesses that then control the motor and gearboxes, everything in the rear. Coming back up here, you have everything that is still under the driver. You have the longer extensions here that run and pass down the bulkhead or through the bulkheads and all the way up to the front of the car. So you have it running on the right side of the chassis and then the left side of the chassis. Uh, in here, you know, something simple is we have our fire system connectors that control the fire bottle that is a big safety uh, measure that the cars have. Uh, you have, you know, the steering, what goes to the steering wheel, powers the steering wheel with everything that the driver needs. Um, the dashboard, the driver switch, how the driver turns the car on and off is connected with just a basic, you know, connector. Running up, then you go down further, you get close to the pedals where the driver's feet are and you go through and then you have the outside corners of the car, your right front and your left front. And that's when you get into, these are all connectors for our brake master cylinders, throttle pedal, um, you know, any, any driver tool that he is using, we have to be able to monitor what they are doing. So with the center chassis loom, as well as the rest of the wiring, this is equivalent to the veins in your body. Uh, it is an extremely vital part, and without this entire system in the car, the car cannot run. Um, it moves all the currents back and forth, and we are able to power the car and do everything with the center chassis loom and all of the wiring. So it's a very integral part of the car. It is the first thing that I install in because the routing of it is extremely important. Over the course of the year, unless you have issues, this will stay inside the car for the whole season. Going forward with that, you try to do your best to not have to do anything with it throughout the course of the season. So it's all about the installation and taking all the precautions to put anti-chafing and making sure things aren't rubbing and tying it down correctly. Um, but once you get that done, it's pretty straightforward from there. Thank you for watching Tech Tuesdays and I hope you enjoyed learning on how to wire an IndyCar.